Good day, welcome to Martinez Design. <laughs> In the continuation of our uh, tutorial series, which is Hotel Design Tutorial in Revit 2023. In this particular, we are going to touch a lot of aspects like staircase, slab design, and so on and so forth in this particular training. So, endeavor to watch to the end, and at the same time, click on subscribe button at the right corner of the screen and subscribe to our channel if you are new and if you are one of us kindly share your comments and be able to share the videos and so and so forth thanks so we are continue so go to level one click on architecture click on a slab i mean floor and say floor architecture so from where you'll be able to draw architectural slab. So the next thing, the first thing is that if you want to know the thickness of your slab, you can click on this edit type and check the thickness, which is that is 200 millimeter, which is okay in normal standard slab. So you click on your pick to draw sketch to sketch it out. So now click. Good. So as you are sketching, you make sure that all your line, the reason why I always use this uh, particular picture is because of its perfection with the walls. With the walls. So I don't need to be drawing everything one after the other. It's going to snap with the wall and give me accurate, uh, accurate uh, sketch part. So if I want to finish it now, this is it. So I have this one. So as I have this one, I only did it, they do this on the level one. So I want to copy this to level two. Level two did not have any staircase. If you go to your 3D, you can feel it. You see that it's only level one's part we create. We have created. We have created now. The next thing is that we want to put this one and transfer it to the next level. How do you do that? Go back to the level one as you have done. Say copy to clipboard. From the clipboard, say align to level two the reason why we want to use level two for now is because we want to still edit this lab so go to that level two and click on the level two this is it so you need to edit it by what allow you to follow with the words so edit it and say align if you don't want to edit you can decide to draw it from beginning again but i prefer editing because i've already had the guide of most of where i want it to stay so I don't need to start putting those things in order or in place again. So I do this. So it's giving you big grammar. All you just need to do is to cancel and then start pick the line and align this one. So do the same thing here. Good. So you are done with this particular one and I click finish telling you that you have extra line which is something that I is totally against so you select that and delete it so you don't have any extra line in Revit every line must be closed loop so I have done this one now what you need to do is to copy but before you copy check your because the next the slab that are the uh, well, normal ground floor used to be thicker so as it's going up it must be lesser so you always use nine inch uh, six inches which is 150 mm slab thickness for upper floor building so sorry control said we've done something that we're supposed not to do so click finish at this place what you need to do is that you need to duplicate first so that you retain the property of the first one so you click here and that is slab 2 so you say 150 so you click here and click so you have done that so what you do now is to copy this to as many level as possible click on finish uh, copy to clipboard then select and say align align to level 3 to level six that's what you want to do press shift on your keyboard it will definitely be there so click here and check are you having it they are already there perfectly 
So, but this level six we are going to change because they're having conflict issue with the roof. So, go back to level six. So, because it's there is roof there, you don't need slab there. So, what we do is that you, uh, you trim all those side that are not they are not wanted. So, you, after you've done with that, then you delete all these extra lines that are not needed in our design so delete them all oh something is so delete this then align this to the to the back then trim it good so yes save this particular menu now as you have done this so copy this to clipboard and say paste to level it to level 7 only have it in level 7 we can have it in level 8 so you go to 3d look at it from level 7 yes that is it so that is what we are able to do in this particular space so now we want to work on our staircase and now we will do that the first aspect of staircase we want to do is this first one so all our circulation and the what and the mechanical aspects going to be on the same view because we are going to have it according to the rules of RS building. If the RS building is more than a two-story building, the next is to have a lift that will complete them to as much as possible. So we are going to create lift at this space as well. So before then now let's go create the first staircase. So we click on this and say steer. In this tier, I have to sketch this sketch I want to use in my home. So in your, if you are using lower fashion, there is method to do that one. You can you can use it right from the beginning. You see the sketch parts. I mean sketch your C. But this one is because the level 2023 have been modified. So now I want to use first boundary do this so i select the peak line so i select the peak line and i select this peak line so here i want to modify this particular one and the reason what i'm doing is because of this particular align method so i want everything to be parallel i don't want an issue with anything to to have so i'm taking 2000 five hundred weeks good then I will box it out here now by trimming up so the boundary this is the boundary for staircase telling you already that you have created a zero riser so that does not matter so you click on this click on riser and start creating riser from here start from the middle like I have said to you, look always look at that dotted line. So whenever you see them, it's telling you that okay, it's parallel with one particular line. So I'm using 120, which is the width. So here now I want to offset this to something like 300. I want to use for the staircase. So if you don't have 300, all you want to just need to do is to edit it from here, the offset. So you'll be able to do what you want to do. So I'm creating it about that's number four five six seven you are getting the number here how many have you created is telling you that okay 16 still remain which means that you have not created anything it does not mean that you have not created anything the, the simple idea is that the boundary has never been joined with this so you are the it has never for one be recognized so now what you need to do is that you count the number of right side right you have created one two three four five six seven eight i want to create ten nine okay let it be nine for now so i also have done that so i want to move this then move it move them backward so copy from here i mean say copy move from here if you copy you will duplicate so you just move them so you have them like this so trim it so as you've done that select all the riser 
trim the boundary layer all closed okay so now what you do is to select all the riser after you have selected the riser click on mirror and go to the boundary line center line so let it flow according to when that broken line is there to tell you that okay he has already picked the parallel line so that's the mirror you have done you are still seeing that there is no any improvement so what you need now is to draw the boundary first of all draw this from here to here and the second one is that you draw it from here to here so the boundary has been created but i've never been recognized the reason is simple this close must be removed delete it then you need to do what begin to align them together with this align them with this so you have created the boundary not complete so boundary now you click here and say join this together with this good as you've done that you have seen that the total number of boundary has increased so that is how you create the moment everything is in set the number will change automatically so you take note of that now what you do now is to finish no don't finish yet you need to draw the parts to which this will flow because you finish it here it's not going to follow any parts of which you so i want to follow the part from here outside inside so never allow your part to be more extended than the uh, what's it called the riser that you have done so you click finish so this is created and this one is created now a successful design has been done so as we have it here you can click finish and see the whole thing is set so i want to change this i'm using monolithic here which is okay for me now i want to do certain thing instead of me repeating and copy this one i want to choose a lot new method in which has been used so what i do is that i go to section i will draw a new section so now that is parallel you click here and say go to view so that is the section i've done what is telling us is that this particular right steer is longer than the steer so with how many with two steps so we're going to edit that and say double click on it go to the level one or level two where you can see it and remove these two this particular two remove it here so we 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 do the extension by closing everything together good so i want to adjust this particular one so you make sure you adjust this individually good so i click finish and i go back to my section which is what i have done click section and you see so i have it in snap so this is what we have done here so the next thing that select is as we have selected you will select the level where you want it to joint jointly go to so you click on select level so you are going to select all those level together that level one by pressing shift on your keyboard or pressing control you select level one select level two and select level three i will not allow it to go beyond that because i want to use i'm not using it on level level seven and level eight i just want to use it on that particular level. so now you say connect so as you have connected it now you just say click finish so can you see you have all all of them joining together so anywhere you are you are seeing these steps they replicate themselves from level one two three four so that is the beauty of this particular uh, 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 design so anywhere you are 
we are going to see that is being replicated so the next thing the next tier that we're going to create is the next at this front is the tier at this front how do we do that the same method we use there you want to use in that particular tool but because this one have the phase phase design we are going to use it in a different manner so how do we do that now we go to staircase make sure you draw it separately do not join it together with that and say okay you want to sketch again so how do you do that is that you create the boundary that we have said okay, this is the path i want you to follow and i'm creating it so the next thing is that i want to create it to have the space to offset this and say i'm using 1300 this time around good okay i have the parts in which it flow to so i want to start drawing the riser the first riser that i'm going to draw we start from here now i'm going to create something like a like 20 straight straight up so now i want to offset it by clipping 300 so i'm offsetting this uh, riser so it's telling me how many i've created so i've created eight nine ten eleven so i want to create this part as well this time around i want to have something unique sorry i see use riser not boundary so click riser good so at this point you need to good so do the same thing as well So you do the same thing here, riser. So how many have we created? So it's telling you have already created the whole 20. So 21, 22, 23. You know, leave that and delete this. You've forgotten your method of uh -huh. offset, 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 offset. So uh, this one is more. So what you need to do is to reduce the number here. Reduce the number from here. So that this one will be accurate. How many have you created? 21. So remove 2 again from here. Remove 2. So here you trim. Sorry. The clip trim. To trim this trim oh good so they are set how do you do that click finish what is it telling you can't finish sketch because the part has not been there so go back there and click on parts so you have set draw from here draw it here from here draw it here then from here finish it here so finish good the part is set so now depends on how you want them to flow click finish here still having the same the ray is not continuing so why the ray not continue go to magnetic is it there so finish it leave the ray alone for now so see this backward so that we can capture the whole staircase as well so go to your go to view can you see this is the staircase this is the part in which you flip i don't want this part so what i need to do is to toggle this and flip the direction can you see the direction change so i want you to start from from here come to this place so now what i do is to remove the two staircase because they are too much so click here and double click to extend and say 
go to level 2, level 1. I will remove one one from this. Remove this one and remove this one. So trim it back to where the way it's supposed to be. Trim them back. Then return the parts to the boundary of riser. So if we finish it here now. We are going to see the weight flow. So this is it. So select them, it flow from here going up. So that is how we do it. So go back here and say go to. So this is what you have created. This staircase has been done. So it's not finished. The same method we used to create this, the same method we are going to use to create this one or two. So but this time around we are going to level level seven. So you click here, select. And say select level. So you begin to select from level control, level three, level four, level five, level six, and seven. So that's where I want you to connect. Say connect and say finish. So I have it from one to three to seven. So that is the mechanics of this building that we have done. So you can now extend your grid drag them up so you've created staircase in this particular design with a simple realistic method so what you need to do is to follow us through to the next stage where we are going to create a lot of things together so as you have done this one you later edit all your slab by bringing them to this point but it is beyond the scope of this particular building. We don't want to bore you with a lot of something. So try towards the next where we are going to con continue to develop this to a suitable level.